starting five for both teams. And for Texas, they've got ABC. He'll be battling near the boards to get the job done, both on offense and defense. Then it's Damari Carroll, and it's Green in a power forward. Passes it to Ball. Leaps for it. Stolen away. And so here's Texas. Pass to Barnett. No good with the finger roll. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I, I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother. And it's rejected. Three on three. Pass to Kirk. Shot from six. And no one able to grab it as it goes out of bounds. Texas is on D. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. I asked him about the challenge of defending this team, and he said, quote, it really comes down to their awareness offensively. They don't take a lot of bad shots or make those kind of mental errors, and that puts the pressure on us to be just as efficient. We've got to value our possessions so we can match them shot for shot. Gentlemen, back to you. Doris, thanks. No better way to enforce your defense if you can keep that defensive shooting percentage to a minimum. And for that to happen, Kevin, it's going to take a complete group effort defensively. Steve, that's an excellent point. Defending a team that really can stroke it like this requires an awful lot of good communication among all the defenders. Everybody has to be chattering and aware of where bodies are at all times. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Number 35, guarded by Green. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, you look at his game. He's got that banger DNA. Just plays the game the right way. You know, you have to be a skilled player to make it in this league. There's something you have to do really well. But certain matchups demand not just skill, but will and physicality. And he's one of those. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Six on the shot clock. Number 23. That drops. Jax is on D. There's the pick. Here's Claxton. Picked him clean. And even three on three break. Feeds it to Green. The pass to Barnett. Texas moving it around. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Barwick. Well, they're fortunate. Defense was taking a big chance, leaving him that wide open behind the arc. From 13, gets it to go. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Back to Green. He passes to Barnett. They get a hand on it. And here's the fast break. Number 40, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. Passes to Baldwin. Shot clock at six. It's rebounded by Carroll. Texas trails by three. Green, the screen. All sorts of time. And another miss by Texas. Well, I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. Here's Claxton. The shot is up. And Texas the other way now. Three on three.
Pass to Barnett. Here's ABC. And he banks in the lane. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, I think that could really set things up well the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and let your perimeter players play off your bigs. Pass to ball. Puts up a three. Texas grabs the miss. Green's got his third rebound on the night. The pass to ABC. He kicks to Green. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. For Texas, they have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. And Texas making a change here. five on the shot clock. Ball stolen. Fast break. Here we go. Ahead. Finish off the break. Great job capitalizing on that steal and getting the easy points in transition. Exactly how it should be done after a turnover. Passes it to Ball. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And it'll be Texas with their first timeout of the game right here. Here's Barnett looking for his first basket still in this one. Number 23, and Texas checks on two more. Gone three for three from the floor. Pass to ball. Six to shoot. Here's Claxton, sinks it. What range from outside, wow. Five points in the game. Pass to Barnett. Sweetman, he's covered by Thompson. Excellent D there from Thompson. Here's Bowen. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Now Texas with it. Here's Pat. The feed to Brown. Shoots. And he gets it to go from the corner. And Texas leads by one. Great teamwork out there. Really helping each other out. Their plan is one. I mean, they're like a symphony. Everybody in harmony and in beat and in rhythm. Five straight baskets now have resulted because of assists. Lock at six. And the pass to ball. Plenty of space. Texas grabs the miss. I thought he'd make that one. And that's his range and the defense nowhere to be seen. He hits Brown with the drive. He passes to Pat. Number 20, and the basket good. And now it's a three-point Texas lead. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity and getting results, too. It's a great formula, and it's really a sign that the offense is clicking. Now, here's Thompson. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Fleming. Here's Bowler, accurate with a jumper from the elbow. 
Baller's gone two of four from the field. Here's Pat. Outside Landry. Down low. Here's Sweetney. The shot is off. Great D that time from Thompson. That was a good rebound right there, but they haven't been very strong on the glass so far. Well, they've got to meet the energy that they're facing right now. It's so important to battle on the boards. Here's Baller. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. To the middle. Here's Sweetney. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. For Texas, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. Smith checked in for ball. Just five on the clock. Good day, good day. Number 22. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Jang is checked in for Texas. Texas leading by four. One forty-four left in the first quarter. He dishes it to Brown. Buries it from three-point range. Brown's got five now. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They gotta get more intense. Now the pass to Fleming. Back to Smith. Six to shoot. And that one's good. Beautiful finger roll to cap the head drive off. He knows how to finish with some flair and flavor, guys. Pack passes to Brown. Here's Dang. Texas moving it around. Passes it to Pack. Thompson with the block. Oh, and here comes Smith. All alone. The big dunk at the end of the break. Solid, solid work on the back end of that play. Yeah, finish hard with two hands on the stuff. Nothing extravagant about it, but uh, there didn't need to be. Here's Dang. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Plenty of daylight on that shot. We've got 28 seconds left here in the first quarter. Flooding the pass to Smith. Fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. The free throw drops for Smith. And Texas making a change here. So one for two that time with the strike. Now here's Brown. He's got five. Stolen by Smith. And that does it for the first quarter. Texas leads by four. And we'll get. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Texas. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And I love the penetration because we're seeing a team that's attacking the lane, forcing the defense to collapse, and you're going to see some easy points as a result. Pass to Fleming. Back to Thompson. Brown on him. Shot clock at five. Shot clock at six. Dishes it to Smith. Takes a three. And there's the pass to Fleming. 
gives him the lead pass, and it's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. Green is checked in for Carl Landry. Ball's knocked loose, and it ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Yo, yo, yo. Five to shoot. Flooding the pass in this direction. This is his first free throw of the game. He's off on the first. And Texas making a change here. Carroll's checked in. Good on the second free throw. Texas leading by three. Number 23 defended by Fleming. Number 23. He feeds it to Carroll. Kicks it to Brown. Number 23. Rebound by Smith. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post, Clark. I do. I love it. Their rebounding has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. The dish to Kira. Feeds to Brown. He kicks it to Kira. Backing in. Boy, with two fouls now, he really has to be disciplined and under control for the rest of this half. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. For Texas, they have gone three for three at the line tonight. Trip coming up empty, missing both. Passes to Fleming. Here's Claxton, trails the baseline jumper. He has seven, quarter two, and just under two and a half minutes gone by. The feed to Carroll. Pass to Green. Pass to ABC. Here's Carroll. Just five to shoot. Out of bounds as Texas keeps possession. He had no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. On defense, the visitors. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Poke loose. There's the pass to Ball. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And he can't hit the second. Well, despite tying things up, he's still shaking his head, knowing he could have given them the lead. Outside, Green. He passes to ABC. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Boy, big man with very soft hands and a nice touch around the hoop. Texas shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played, number 40 carries the long-range jumper. 
He's got five. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but you know the defense still needs to keep an eye on him. Passes it to Barnett. Six on the shot clock. Out of bounds as Texas keeps possession. And Texas making a change here. Here's Green. Five on the clock. Texas shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good from Green. Pass to Baller. Fires from 18. And it's off the back rim. No good. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one, short stroke. It. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Shot clock at six. Number 23. He squares up and sinks it. He's got eight. Gone 80% from the field. Four of five shooting. Number 40, nailed from three-point land. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. And so here's Texas. Fades and shoots. The shot is off. He doesn't really scare a defense at all. You've seen him miss quite a few just like those. Set the screen, so they take the lead. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. Pass to Barnett. Texas moving it around. Here's Kara. And Texas hits again from deep. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them any time they need it. They're sending guys to the line way more than they should here. They need to play good position defense and avoid the reach-in sloppy foul. Carroll's gone one of two from three-point land. The pass to Nesterovic. Baller, 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Baller's got nine. There's a screen. He dishes it to Green. Passes it to Barnett. Knocked away. Here's Sweetney. Off with the layup. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. Number 40, from 16 feet away, he cans it. Ten points for him. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. And Texas calls time here. And as we get a break here, important for the teams to go over their own strategy. And for the players, this is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. So put out your best effort as the game wears on, guys. You know, it's amazing when, when you're playing during the season, if you go through a stretch where you don't hydrate, it can have a major physical toll on you. Your body wears down quicker. You don't recover as fast. And that can really take its toll over the course of an 82-game season. Barnett. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. 
For Texas, they have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. That's good from Barnett. So after making the first, he goes one for two. The screen from Thompson. Here's Claxton and air balls the triple. That one was way off. And so here's Texas. They trail by one. Stolen by Thompson. Pass the ball. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Baller's got 11 points. Tell you what, since the end of the first quarter, he has really come alive. Here's Carroll. He's got six. Fires it up. No good with the wing jumper. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Six to shoot. Number 35. Another shot, and the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. But the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. Texas trails by six. Andrew with the screen. Shoots off the screen. Brown outside. Rocket six. No luck. Nice T from Baller. They're running. And here they go. Here's Claxton. Off the left rim and up. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. Andrew with the screen. Brown outside. Brown right side. Here's Green. A second chance effort. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got six rebounds here tonight. Another strong rebound, just like we've gotten used to seeing from them today. Yeah, one or two more of those, and this lead will be double digits. Number 33. 152 left in the first half of basketball. Into green. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. He has great dexterity inside. He can contort his body, shift in midair, hang time. He can protect the ball and finish through contact. Just an impressive player in the paint. And Steve, that's not a skill that most players have. I mean, that's exactly why they try to feed it to him in the paint whenever possible. No good from Baller. Texas trails by four. Dishes to Brown. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Brown's got seven. Brown's gone three for five from the field. Flooding the pass to Thompson. Lays it up and banks it in. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and it's paid dividend. Yeah, it sure has, Clark. I mean, with as many points as they've gotten in the paint, they really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. The pass to Pat. Outside, green. Texas moving it around. He hits Brown with the drive. Puts it up from 12, and it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. ABC's checked in for Texas. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the half. Pass the ball. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Baller's got seven points for the quarter. You know, he started out hot, and he's only gotten hotter. He could be in for one of those games. That's good. 
Looked like they found the soft spot in the defense there. 26 seconds left here in the second. Fifteen seconds left to play in the first half. Shot clock at six. Flooding the pass to Thompson. Banked in off the glass. Thompson's got seven. Textbook right there. Nice pass. Great catch. Beautiful finish. And that does it for the first half of play. The away team up six. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to... And now... Brought to you by Sprint. All right, I hope you're enjoying this Wednesday of NBA action. Now let's get to the halftime report. Some good basketball for the away team and give them credit defensively. They're boxing out, controlling their defensive backboards. Baller is the leading scorer, 13 points, and he's helped out with some key rebounds as well. And on the other hand, a major undertaking to stay alive for Texas. They've been aggressively attacking the rack, getting a lot of points right at the rim. A nice contribution by A.C. Green, giving them a lift. He's got seven points and is always looking to go to work on the boards. And that does it for us here in the studio. Thanks so much for joining me. And now, back out to Kevin and the gang. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. You have to like what we're seeing from Baller. I know we've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. He had a great first half, just an explosive uh, offensive display there. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had. He can usually keep it going for all four quarters. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So we've got a couple of free throws coming up. That free throw good from ABC. Six to shoot. Here's Claxton. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. It's his first trip to the left. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back, but making it a two-possession game was the key, and he got that done. Pass to ABC, and he feeds it to Carroll. Green kicks to Carroll. The three-pointer no good. It has not been an ideal start to the second half. They've missed three of their first four. The shot's good from Baller. Well, and the bounce pass was the key to the play. Texas trails by six. Pass to Barnett. Here's ABC. Number 23. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. They're struggling here. They're just one of five to start this third quarter. They've got to loosen up here. Clock at four. Number 35, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Well, now they're just going to town on him. Yeah, you'd think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin, but so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. And there's the pass to Barnett. Get outside, get outside. Let's the three fly. Gets it to go. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Passes it to ball. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Right block shot. Can't get it to go. And Texas the other way now. Barnett passes to Kier. Pass to ABC. 
The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. ABC's got 10. the ball shot from 12 and the basket good a bank shot that time 17 points in the game guys they've had a solid start to the second half offensively gotten good looks and they've made three out of four of them here's Carroll he has six six on the shot clock pass to Barnett Misses the jumper. Barnett's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Passes it to Ball. On Lobes. Green with the rebound. Texas trails by five. Number 23 takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Great interplay there between those two teammates. Number 40. Offensive rebound. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And he can't get the first one. Smith checked in for ball. No luck that time either. Here's Carroll. Six points for him. Let's it fly. Can't get it to go. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Smith outside. Poked away. Number 23 makes it off the glass. He's got 12. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Number 40 gets it to go from 18 feet away. Texas trails by three. And Texas calls time here. Ladies and gentlemen, your automotion. And so here's Texas. Here's Carroll. He's got six. To tie. The putback, and it's Green with the jam. He sniffed out that board and then powered it back in. Pure Mike Clark, so strong going back up with that yeah, one. That's exactly what he's capable of, guys. So strong. Smith outside. Shot clock at five. Number 35, and he hits the jump shot. Six points for him. Texas trails by three. The dish now to Carroll. Number 23. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Number 40. And foul hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. The first free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 
Now Texas with it. It's a five-point game. Back to Green. Number 23. No good from outside. Releases from 15. Texas grabs the miss. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. And that one misses. And it's Smith penetrating. Six to shoot. Austin is terrible. It's stolen by Brown. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Brown's got nine. The pass to Nesterovich. He passes it to Baldwin. Puts the lead pass in front of him. That's good. He's got 12. Yeah, that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over. Well, you know, he almost seems to enjoy those mismatches, Steve. It gives him a chance to show what a strong finisher he is. Number 20, Brown. Texas moving it around. Texas needs to get off his shot. Number 20. And that one hits back iron. And here we go. Here's Baller, and it's blocked. Three on three. Here's the teardrop. And it's Brown getting it to go. Brown's got 11 points. Guys, that time he went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. Passes to Nesterovich. Baller. Screen by Smith. They get it back. Brown. He kicks it to Brown. Number 23. For the lead. Tries again. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And what a game for Brown. He's got 11 points and one steal. It's been a really complete performance for him today. No question. He's made an impact just about everywhere on the court. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. You know, he's as close to a sure thing as you can possibly have when he steps to the line. That's to Fleming. Here's the pass to Fleming. Shot clock at six. Tries a three. Passes it to Baller. They set the pick. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for Texas. Their activity at the defensive end, Kevin, has been really impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. It's picked off. And here's the fast break. Flooding the pass to Baldwin. There's a minute 40 left in the third quarter. Number 33. Bank shot, no good. He operates pretty well in traffic, guys, but that was a tough play to finish off. Stolen by Thompson. Here's Fleming, and he connects on the jumper. The screen did the trick. That's old school right there, and I like it. The fadeaway. Back to Brown. He passes to Pat. 58 seconds left to play in the third. Lock at six. Here's Sweetney. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. 
They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. 51 seconds left to play here in the third. Pass to ball. Five to shoot. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Thompson. Texas grabs the miss. Shot denied. They retain possession. And they take the lead. And Texas leads by two. They've been getting way too many high percentage looks close to the basket. And I'll tell you what, when they're getting them, they're converting. You know, the play in the paint, an aspect of this game that is gone entirely their way. Number 35, some solid D from ABC. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Texas. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. Can't get it to go. Now Texas with it. The lead is two. Here's Pat. Fades away. They get the rebound. Here's ABC. Fast break. Here they come. And the pass to ball. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Passes it to ABC. Feeds it to Brown. Knocked loose. Pat sinks the triple. Man, they are spreading the floor and letting it fly, really knocking it down from outside. And I love that gunslinger's mentality, Steve. Playing the win as opposed to playing it safe. I call it prevent offense when you try to protect the lead. Let it fly, let it fly, let it fly. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Back to green. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew Konjak down the shot. Take a look at the numbers in this one for Green. 11 rebounds, and he's contributed three points from the line, too. Yeah, those are always easy points. I mean, when you can get to the line and knock them down, uh, that sometimes that's, that's the difference in the game, Clark. And he's good on the second. That's big. I mean, if it wasn't for the miss, they'd be sitting in a much better position. He did not come away totally empty, though. Pass to ball. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Baller's got 23 points. Here's Pat. The feed now to Green. Out of bounds as Texas keeps possession. Brown is checked in for Pat. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Six on the shot clock. Number 23, the layup off target. He has not shot the ball well here, and I think it's, it's time for him to start looking for his teammates a little bit. The pass to ball. Out of bounds, Texas takes possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. He dishes it to Landry. And he uses the glass on the lane. So it's the visitors now. Pass the ball. They set the pick. Number 22. And that one's on target from the wing. This has been a different kind of game here in the second half. I thought both clubs a little slow in the first. No question, but they're really going at it now. From about 19 feet, 
a shot. No good. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he is going ice cold here. Free throw drops for him. And so he hits both. And so here's Texas. Green, the screen. Dishes it to Landry. Fade away, and it's blocked. They've definitely hit that groove offensively. They sure have, guys. I mean, really aggressive. And I like that posture and mindset. Stay aggressive. Yeah. Steve, you like groove, don't you? I do. I love groove, Kevin. And I love the attack mode this team is in, too. I mean, they're really getting into the paint. They're getting whatever they want offensively. Here's Baller. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Some good numbers here for Baller. He has 23 points, and he's knocked down five shots of charity strike. Good numbers for him. Yeah, good numbers, and uh, that's been important uh, for his team. They needed some points. He's provided some easy ones at the foul line, so he's making an impact here. Brown outside. Shot clock at six. Number 23. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown one of three from deep tonight. Pass the ball. Watch outside. Down to five on the shot clock. The pass to Nesterovich. Goes back up. Well, you just can't give them that kind of position in the post. I'll tell you what, when he gets it in that tight, he's going to bury those. on two more. Passes to Nesterovich. He passes it to Ball. Six to shoot. Pass to Nesterovich. And good on the basket. Book it. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. The screen from Brown. And there's the pass to ABC. To tie it up. Here's Brown. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the best. Plays a really difficult cover because if he gets anywhere near the rim, he can finish. Great strength. The ability to convert in the lane. Boy, that's, that's tough to defend. And applies even if he has to absorb contact getting to the rim. Passes it to Ball. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Baller's got 14 points here in the second half. And Texas calls time here. Have to like what we're seeing from Baller. They need to make some adjustments because he's absolutely scorching. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hi, guys. I got a chance to hear what the home team head coach was saying to his players. He told his team to keep looking for three-point opportunities, saying their perimeter defense isn't doing a good job getting out on our shooters. So let's keep firing away until they decide to guard us. Barnett is checked in for Texas. Number 23. And 
too long on the shot. Gone one of five from deep. Knocks it loose. Claxton, Barnett covering. Claxton. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. That free throw missing. And Texas making a change here. Carroll's checked in. And he sinks the second. Texas trails by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Pulls it up. And he hits the jump shot. 19 points in the game. That's a nice play there. The more contributors this team can get, the better. Number 35, headed by Green. Shot clock at six. Number 35, pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. This has been a different kind of game here in the second half. I thought both clubs a little slow in the first. No question, but they're really going at it now. Texas moving it around. Pass to Barnett. From deep three-point range, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Barnett's gone just one of five from the field. Pass the ball. There's the screen. Leads him in there. Here's Nesterovich. Texas grabs the miss. Green's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Number 23, shot is blocked. And it turns out it's going to be a foul. He was hoping for a clean block, but the officials felt otherwise. So we'll see some free throws here. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them. And free throws are better than a layup. Boy, it's been a nightmare at the line for him. He keeps finding himself back at that free throw line over and over again. They set the pick. There's the pass to Ball. Just five on the clock. Here's Claxton. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. Claxton. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. Texas trails by four. Kicks it to kill. Three-pointer. Shot is no good. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. left in the fourth quarter of this one. Number 35. Texas grabs the miss. Carroll passes to Barnett. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Big time bucket there, Clark. And Kevin, the crowd is loving it. Well, they know exactly how big that shot was. There's 126 left in the fourth. Number 35, guarded by Green. Hits the fadeaway. And Texas balls time here. They're losing by four. 
112 left in the fourth quarter. One twelve left here in the fourth quarter. Uncovered. Shot's good by Barnett. Barnett's got four points in the quarter. 107 left to play here in the fourth. There's a good screen. Passes to ball. Just found the shoot. He tries for three. No luck. And Texas the other way now. Steve, what a big possession right here. No doubt, guys. You can feel the tension in this building. Barnett passes to ABC. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Shot and game clock separated by five. Number 40, defended by Carroll. Yes! A crucial basket. They needed it, and he gave it to them. And Texas calls time here. They're trailing by four. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Well, they're drawing up the only thing they can here. Just get off a quick one and then go ahead and foul. I think free throws are going to be front and center the rest of the way here. This one for three. They grab their own miss. Connects! Strong rebounding, and he's rewarded with the easy putback. It's a four-point ballgame. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and polish it off. The visiting club takes the win on the road. Well, they don't get much more exciting than that, Clark. They sure don't. And when it was gut check time, this team kept their composure, kept their emotions in check, and got it done. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Boyd, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now... Our Jordan player of the game.